Just tell me when we're live. Good afternoon. The March 14th, 2024 special meeting of the San Diego Community College District Board of Trustees is hereby called to order. Good afternoon, everyone. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format with board members and most part presenters here in person. Others will be participating via Zoom. We also welcome members of our district community who may be watching this meeting live via B2, uh, YouTube. The board is open to public comments uh, at this special meeting. If anyone is interested in doing so, our procedure uh, is to fill out a comment and give it to our board recording secretary, or if you're participating remotely, email board office at sdccd.edu. This is a special meeting of the board that was noticed uh, for a special item, which the chancellor will present. Yeah, so with the flooding at the educational cultural complex um, and the damage that it caused, as we got in to deal with that, we discovered asbestos in some areas. Public contracting law requires the board to take action on any non-public works contract that exceeds $114,500. There are provisions in the law that would allow the district to move forward in an emergency circumstance like this where health and safety are at issue, but our board policies do not allow those flexibilities. So in order to have the contractor do the work and pay the contractor and finalize the contract, we need the board to take action. Um, given the emergency situation, we needed to call a public meeting. Vice Chancellor Peterson can offer some additional details on the contracting and then the work that will need to be done. Thank you. Um, so since uh, this is of an emergency nature, we apologize that we had to do this on sort of short notice, but uh, with a 24 hour notice to the public, it's authorized to do the special board meeting. What we're going to be doing is that with the flooding damage, it created uh, water damage to the walls. And when we started to go ahead and remove the damaged materials, such as the carpet and so forth, we did a routine testing uh, since these are old buildings and we found that there was asbestos uh, within the uh, gypsum board uh, and before we can go ahead then and fully remove it and uh, take all the remediation, we have to do a full abatement on it. And so this is something that uh, we'd like to move forward as quickly as possible. So uh, with your indulgence, uh, we're asking for approval of $148,000 contract proposal from uh, the vendor, um, P.W. Stevens. Thank you. Um, any questions or comments from my board colleagues? I have um, comment. Uh, the board policy states that these come to us if they're over what? Certain amount? The public contracting uh, threshold, which is 114. 114. Yeah. And this is 148. Mm -hmm. So per board policy, we're having this special meeting to approve this contract, which certainly seems like something we need to do. Um, does the chancellor have any comment on that board policy in terms of operational issues that this creates? I think the purpose of the board policy is for public transparency with the expenditure of public funds of anything over the public contracting limit. So my first impression is that it's appropriate that the board have this special meeting uh, in these kind of circumstances. But do you have any comment about that board policy and how it affects operations? Yeah, so obviously in an emergency circumstance, we need to move quickly. And calling the board together to give that authorization can be difficult sometimes. So the public contracting code does allow us to revise our policy so that contractors that have already been vetted and established through CUPCA are available to us. And through delegated authority, I could approve us to go forward and do that contract immediately without having the board to have to take action first. Then we would bring it back at a subsequent meeting for ratification by the board. Um, so there's still that transparency in the contractor being approved in CUPCA and then bringing it back for the board to see what we did and why after the fact. Okay, so that that makes sense and it would avoid the situation that we have here and you could have started work three days ago or a week ago instead of waiting for this meeting. Uh, so uh, with the board's concurrence, I think we should ask our chancellor to bring back a revision to that board policy so that operations can go 
smoother. Is that sound all right to our board? So then what we need is a motion to approve. A motion to approve. Second. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Uh, how does the student trustee vote? Um, I vote aye. <laughs> Thank you. And now a roll call? Or do we need a roll call or can I just call for? Okay, oh, all right. So that that, that occurred because we had a Zoom. Okay, so all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Oh, I say it aye too. Uh, so the motion passes unanimously. Thank you. So that concludes the business of the special meeting. So this meeting is adjourned. Now, can we stay?